Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the walking cycle or gait cycle. You know, it's a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try to simplify it for any of you. So as you know, uh, it's comprised of two phases, is stance phase and swing phase. So the stance phase is just 60% and swing phase is 40%. I'm going to show you the different steps and then I'm going to focus on the muscles that are involving in different stages of the uh, stance phase and also the swing phase. So let me focus my camera on my feet. So if you look at precisely to my feet, so you can see that during the walking cycle or um, gait cycle you are initially contact on the ground it's known as the heel strike because you are hitting the ground it's the heel strike this is the first step of the stance phase just look at my right foot heel strike and then if you look at my uh, foot it's lowering slowly on the ground so it's known as the foot flat so and then the next step is just look at my right foot next step is that i'm going forward my trunk is going forward and my uh, opposite foot commencing to leave the ground and going to the swing phase so you can see that so what will happen during this my right foot is loading the whole body weight so my knee is um, tolerating the whole body weight so this is known as the uh, mid stance and it's really really important because your right foot is tolerating the whole body weight it's weight bearing and the second the fourth stage uh, is that in the stance phase is that uh, your opposite foot is swinging but your right foot is going to the uh, your right heel is going off the ground it's heel off so this is state is known as the heel off and then toe off your toes leaving the ground is a toe off and the heel off and toe off totally it's known as the pushing push off and then now you are getting to the swing phase your right foot is get going to the swing swing phase in the swing phase we have initial mid and terminal swing phase initial mid and terminal swing phase, and then you will uh, going to the heel strike so these are the different uh, stages of two stance and swing phase I'm going to show you again this is my right foot so the first step is uh, initial contact or heel strike second step is the foot flat third step is mid stance weight bearing it's mid stance and the fourth one is heel off. Fifth one, fifth stage is uh, toe off. So we have five stages for stance phase. Now I'm going to the swing phase. So we have uh, initial, mid, and terminal or late swing phase. Again will go to the stance phase so these are the different stages for two uh, phases stance and swing phase for walking or gait cycle now I'm gonna focus on the muscles which muscles are involving in different stages of the walking cycle so in the initial contact or heel strike what will happen look at my hip my hip is going to, the, to extend. When your extensor muscles, hip extensor muscles like glute max and also the hamstring, they are contracting 
to extend your hip. So what will happen, which results in moving your trunk forwards. So in the initial contact, hip extensors contract to extend your hip to move your trunk forward. And then in the second step, foot flat, look at my foot. What will happen? It is slowly lowering to the ground, which is known as the foot flat. So which muscle do this? We have the muscle here, anterior compartment of the leg. We have um, dorsiflexor. So dorsiflexion will happen here. This is known as dorsiflexion. So dorsiflexors, anterior compartment of the leg is our dorsiflexors. They are eccentrically contract. So what's the meaning of eccentric? They are lengthening. So the result is that the foot is slowly lowering on the ground. If you have a problem for your anterior compartment or dorsiflexor muscles, you will have foot slap. You cannot slowly lower in the foot on the ground. It is called foot slap. So dorsiflexors will work to do foot flat. The next step is uh, loading response or mid stance. In the mid stance, if you look at me, my opposite foot, this foot, my opposite foot commence to leave the ground, which results in the, um, the whole body weight uh, going onto the knee, right knee. So my right limb or stance limb is loading or supporting the whole body weight. So in this case, your uh, thigh muscles, uh, ex knee extensors, they will extend to prevent your knee from collapsing. So the whole body um, onto your, the knee is tolerating and loading or supporting the whole body. So it's collapsing. Extensor muscles, knee extensors, like quadriceps femoris, they will extend your knee to support your knee, to prevent it from collapsing. And what else? Your body uh, tends to fall down. You, you need some muscles here, posterior cuff muscles. They are called the dorsi uh, plantar flexors, like gastrocnemius, mainly cilius. They contract to prevent you from collapsing. So, so we have two muscles, two important muscles. They support you during this stage. I mean, the mid stance. First of all is knee extensor. Second, this muscle. This muscle is a plantar flexors. They are eccentrically contract. So they were lengthening to control you, prevent you from falling down. And the next step is that your right heel is off the ground. So what will happen? Which muscle do this? If you look at precisely to my ankle, it's plantar flexing. So plantar flexors, gastrocnemius cilius, and other plantar flexors concentrically contract. They are shortening to help you leave your heel from the ground and then the next state is toe off so which muscles do your two toes flexion so during the leaving your toes from the ground your toes uh, live in the ground you they are flexing so toe flexors we have toe flexors deep muscles here we have extrinsic flexors and intrinsic flexors in the plantar surface they contract they flex your toes to help you to leave the ground and yeah this is a toe off and now we are going to the initial uh, initial swing so in the initial swing phase your pelvis, right pelvis, tends to drop. So the opposite or contralateral 
hip abductors here we have opposite contralateral hip abductors contract like this concentrically contract to prevent your right pelvis from dropping during the swing phase so hip abductors is really important and then during this phase you need to lift your knee so what's which muscles do this so uh, the hip flexors flex your hip so it helps your knee to lift which results in uh, clearing the foot from the ground and then your toes need to clear from the ground so dorsiflexors again they will con concentrically contract to help your toes clear from the ground so in the initial and mid swing we have different muscles different groups of muscles help you first of all contralateral hip abductors help you to keep the pelvis level prevent the pelvis from dropping second hip flexors will flex to lift the knee which results in clearing the foot from the ground the third muscles are dorsiflexors they will contract to help your toes for foot to clear from the ground and then in the terminal swing phase or late swing phase the quadriceps femoris contract to extend your knee and hamstring the opposite muscles eccentrically contract to control the uh, the ham the the knee the knee extension because knee extension tends to uh, knee extensors tend to extend knee very fast but these hamstring muscles control it it acts like a brake otherwise your knee will be collapsed so these are the muscles that help you uh, to enduring your walking cycle thank you for your attention